Hello everyone, thanks so much for stopping back by my channel. If you're new here, my name is Destiny. Today I'm going to do kind of a different video, but kind of the same. Um, we're going to do an unboxing and I'm going to compare Healthy Source and brought up men's items. So this one is the men's prime box, which I cannot live to show you because it's gigantic. It's 40 items and I'll put a screenshot up here. I can't remember Sorry, my son's upstairs. I can't remember how much it was, so I'll put that up. But it's 40 items, and UPS put that it weighed 29 pounds. So the thread up box, it hasn't come yet. I hope it'll come tomorrow. Um, it weighs 25 pounds. Don't, you don't get a guarantee on items. They just go by weight. So hopefully this is a pretty good comparison. I don't know what's going to be in this one. It just says men's brands. So I guess we'll see together. They do have on their website where you can look at what brands they're currently sorting through but it's like I don't know it's an insane amount of brands like three four hundred brands so you don't know exactly I mean you can see what they have there but doesn't mean you're gonna get it they mark all their items with this barcode so I don't know you can have a 15% flaw flaw rate so let's just jump in so first up something I've sold many times before Maybe not this exact style, but J. Crew Factory. These are called the Driggs 30 by 30 men's khaki pants. So they like to be in okay condition, but um, they do have a little bit of wash wear. So, but I'll definitely list those. Next up is, sorry, brief interruption. Um, this is Lands in just a button front or this is like a Henley polo short sleeve, but it is a size extra, extra large, possibly a tall. I don't know, I think that's it's kind of hard to see on there, but it's XXL and then a slash T. So I think it's a tall, it looks longer. Like I said, it does have some light wash wear. So that might be a theme with them, I don't know. Okay, Bonobos, I've heard of this brand. I have never sold it. I think Mogi Beth talks about it sometimes. These are slim size 32. They are 100% wool. And then down here it says Primatist Marlene or something like that. So wool dress pants, that's nice. I will have to measure the inseam and just note that since it only says 32. You all ever wonder why women don't get inseams most of the time? I guess we're all the same height. But anyway, that's getting off on a tangent. All right, next is a sweater. Um, this is another brand. This is a brand I've never sold. It is a size medium and it's called Ben Sherman. So maybe we'll learn some new brands together. And if something's really good, I'll let you all know on the screen. Obviously I can't research while I'm just blind unboxing. I just cut this open. This is Zara Man. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Hopefully there's a size on here. It's funny, these have some extra buttons. Oh, here we go. USA size 31. I was laughing because it has this, but obviously nothing in there. Um, but it does have a tag over here that says waist 31. Again, doesn't have the inseam, but that's not a big deal. Sorry, the, my ring light's pointing over here. It's kind of washing out the camera. Let me kind of, that'll help. But anyway, just some black chino pants. Let me adjust the lighting. Okay, another Zara Man. I'm not gonna show you the tag, but these are also 31. Same tag, just more chino pants. Oh, we have something like a shacket. This is Walls Workwear. I don't think this is anything super expensive, but this kind of style does well. Um, it is a size 2X. It definitely has some wear. But this kind of stuff people wear to work in, it is lined. So I don't think that'll be an issue. This is my hair right there. But it does have some definite fading and the sleeves are kind of eat up. But like I said, that's a, that's a piece you wear to work in, not to be seen any kind of thing. We have a blazer or suit jacket. Not sure on the difference, honestly. Okay, this is Michael Kors. And it's just a polyester blend. It's a 48 regular. So, just a blue navy. 
jacket blazer thingy. Um, looks like it does need a wash. You can see there's some definite ick on the sleeve. It did say dry clean only, but I may wash it on a delicate cycle to see what happens. Got some denim bonob bonobos. Is that what it is? Um, again, size 32, 30. These are like a orange pink color. These are the straight fit. I don't know why my children insist on stomping around upstairs. All right, another blazer. This feels like wool to me. It says made in Thailand. Okay. I'm not even going to attempt to say this. Oh, it says Baird McNutt Irish Linen for Brooks Brothers. Maybe that's good. Um, it's a size 44 regular. It doesn't say like the complete fabric content. Uh, over here, let's see, 100% linen. So that's nice, I'll definitely get this listed. It's a very nice jacket. I don't see any flaws right off. So, I might have to steam it. This was apparently at some kind of thrift store because it says blazers, $7.49. This feels lightweight, maybe linen. Oh, Madewell, easy fit. I've never sold Madewell for men, so this is exciting. It is a yellow striped button front shirt. And it's from uh, 2022, which is awesome. And it is 100% linen, so really happy with this piece. I'm gonna get that listed really quick. This is interesting. Oh, Polo by Ralph Lauren. Oh, this is fun. This is a really fun print. It's a size XL. And I will definitely do a better condition check while I'm listing. 100% cotton. Those shirts usually do really well for me. This looks like Lucky Brand. These are Lucky Brand. It's 32-32. Uh, and these are the Heritage Slim. These are like gray denim. Lucky Brand for Men always does really well for me. I thought they had a hole, but just a loose thread. So nice. I'm very happy with this box so far. Now this is a wholesale company, so it's hard to compare directly to ThreadUp, but we're going to do it anyway. Only because ThreadUp, it's just kind of a, you don't know what you're getting and they're just selling it. Okay. This is American Apparel, the track shirt size, extra large. It's got some kind of design up here. This is just a t-shirt. Oh, it says stand, no, strand books. Okay. Maybe this was like a, a work thing. Maybe that's a company or something. All right. More jeans. These are Levi's and they are 29.32. 569. I always have to look up what the different numbers mean. These will definitely need a lint roll. Kind of a unique size, but I just listed a pair of Levi's, I think, or something that were this size. But here you go. If I had to guess, I think these were like a slim or something, but I don't know exactly. Uh, oh, Madewell jeans. The tag's a little rough on these. Looks like these are a skinny. 3132. So I'm getting to try out some men made well. These are from 2018. Oh, I'm excited to list these. So here's the made well patch on the back. Everything looks okay. We have Good Life, made in the USA, size medium. I've never seen this tag before. I do like to list men's stuff because. Men like to shop too, and I like to keep it in my closet. All right, this is Luna Pier. Kind of looks vintagey, size large. Um, this looks like something you might wear when you're golfing. It does have maybe a company or something on the front there. I don't know. I'll have to look. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of cool. I think we're about halfway through this box. Okay, J. Crew Mercantile. This is a really nice flannel shirt. They don't make J. Crew Mercantile anymore, as far as I know. It's kind of like J. Crew Factory, and this is from 2018. This does have a lot of lint on it, so I'll either wash it or 
lint roll it, but otherwise in good condition. Polo Ralph Lauren medium classic fit. This is just a gray long sleeve tee. It has the little signature ponies. This is nice, kind of a speckly heathered gray. Oh, what are you? ASOS, size small. Um, okay. ASOS, ASOS, I don't know. Interesting. I don't know that this is men's. Maybe. I'll still list it. ASOS, size small for this as well. And I'm going to guess this is definitely a women's small because that looks way too small to be a men's small. That cute top. Like I said, there is a chance you'll get a few things that aren't on the topic or brand or whatever. This looks like in that same Michael Kors blazer. Okay, it is. And yeah, same one, except this one is a size 38 regular. So there you go. I'll definitely have to wash the other one. It's dirty. All right, Dickies. And I'm not, I'm not going to snap Dickies because I've sold quite a few of their pants, but I don't see a tag here, but I don't see a size right off. Unless it's up at the top. Oh, there it is. 34.30 for these. And I should get maybe some paint or maybe just food right there. It's like a cargo carpenter's pant. I should get at least 15-ish plus shipping out of those. And I can't remember what my cost of goods was. Alright, this is Levi's and these are a 33 34 these are the 511 so I know those are a skinny these look like they've definitely been worn they're not in new condition at all I wouldn't even call these excellent use condition but I mean still okay to wear just not just not great condition and this might be I don't know which tag is like which but is my, I don't think they're the ones sold at Walmart, but I'm not sure. Alright. We've got Urban Outfitters, size medium. These are interesting. They're like a striped pull on pant. I don't know if these are men or women. I don't know. I've not seen this tag before. I'll have to look it up. But sometimes you just can't tell. So, there's that. Here's another American Apparel t shirt. Um, this is definitely, it says love period, and it says the Collegiate Church of New York. Okay. Uh, this is C9 by Champion, I'm pretty sure. So that's just sold at Target, men's tank top. Um, I may not get a lot of, like, they have a men's box that is outdoor and activewear. All right, these are Levi's 501, whoops, which I think has the button fly. Yes, this does have a button fly. I think this is regular relaxed fit. And these are a 4032. Got a variety of sizes in here, which is nice. I was kind of hoping um, they had in their brands list Yori, which I've never found. So I was kind of secretly hoping to get some of that, but it's okay if I don't. Um, hmm, not sure what this is. I'll have to look it up. I don't see any brand tags other than this right here. Oh, it does have that mark on the back. Is this viewer? Is that what that looks like? No, I think it says it on it. It has that same emblem down here. I'll have to look up what brand that is. These feel like really nice shorts though. Okay, I think we have like 10 or 15 pieces left. All right, let's see here. These are original penguin, which is not great, but these are a wool blend dress pant and they are size 32-30. Those are nice, just a navy dress pant. I don't sell a lot of dress pants, but I'll list them. And we got some distressed jeans. Is this more Levi's? Levi's 501, 
So from what I've gathered, the 501 always has a button fly. And these are 3132. These are distressed. They have some holes at the knees. We have, um, I think this is a designer brand, but I'm not gonna attempt to say it. And I don't know, they say soft on them. They are soft, um, but that tag with the size is definitely faded. Men's clothing is a little bit easier to figure out though with sizing. So if that turns out to be something really good, I will list it. Okay, let's see, we got a hoodie. This is a champion size large, new with tags or, hmm, I don't know. It says happy holidays. And it says power book three, Raisin Canaan season three. I don't know. It says from Sasha, Courtney, 50 Cent, Mark, Dorothy, Chris, David, Monty, Kevin, Santa, and Tosh. So, okay. I don't know about that. Top man, size 32. Oh, these are just shorts. And they do have a button fly. The color is a little different than it looks on there. It's a little more wine color. Person, more Levi's. 5'10", size 32.30. And, I don't know, these say, I don't know, they just have that black tag on the back. Look good though. A lot of big eyes, which I'm happy with. Um, let's see. Bon Bonobos. Bonobos. How do I keep saying this? And I can't remember. Nine inch inseam shorts. These are a size 31. They do have something on the back here, but it looks like it's just food or something. Alright, I think we've got two or three pieces left too, it looks like. And then we are finished with this one, and I'll come back when my thread up box comes. Uh, top man again. These look to be new without tags because they have the button. Um, these are just polyester and they're size 32, 34. And they're like a plaid, like a pant. Alright, last item. Dickies again. Size 12 regular. So these must be women's pants. Yeah. And oh my goodness, they're like a super wide leg pant. Interesting. I'll count, make sure I got 40 items, but um, this is the first half of the video, so I'll see you guys either tomorrow or whenever my thread up box comes. Bye. Hey guys, it is the next day and my thread up box came, so we're gonna open that. I will say that my FedEx driver just like threw this in the yard and the whole side is split, so hopefully nothing's damaged, but this is 25 pounds from thread up. This is $110 plus tax, so we're just gonna dive in. All right, first, this is new tags, Royal Robins, which is an outdoor brand. I have not sold much. I think I've sold one pair of jeans. These say they're the Billy Goat short. Um, the original Royal Robins fabric, and it is sun protection. These are a six and a half inch inseam. These are really heavy, and they're a size 34. This is my husband's size, but I don't think he would like the inseam on that. He's more of like a, I don't know, the longer inseam, but I think those will be okay. I thought it might be fun to, if, let me know if you guys are interested in this, to actually compare these two boxes, to come back in like 60 days after I get everything listed, 90 days, and see what's sold from each box, but you guys let me know what you think. All right, this is a size medium. Um, it is Devin and Jones never heard of this brand and it is a nice vest like a rain jacket thing it does say we x4 development so i think that might be a company logo i don't know exactly but it might still be worth selling just because it's a nice vest all right let's see this is under armor oh, this is nice size 2x just a striped quarter zip, lightweight pullover. We have some sweatpants. 
This is called Blacksmith Apparel. Mm -hmm. Like I said, sweats. Uh, that's the only tag I see. I'll show you guys. It just looks like this. I didn't see a size tag right away. But it's a little heavy. I don't know if that is good or bad. And then I do have a cinch thing at the bottom. So I'll look that brand up. I'm always learning from these boxes, especially men's items. All right, this is Brooks Brothers Lightweight Advantage Chino Clark. These are size 3830. These will definitely need to be hung up to get some of these wrinkles out. I actually don't own a steamer, but I do have some like that downy spray, that, you know, wrinkle release or something. And I will usually spray stuff and then let it sit flat. Um, what is this? Socks? This says Sparrow. Sparrow play together. I don't know. It's some kind of socks in this bag. Uh, so this is not a toy. It has a sticker with an F on it. I don't know what that is. Little, everything's in an Asian language. Probably Chinese or something. I'm not sure. Something else we have tags. This is just 32 degrees cool. A Henley. This is sold, I think, at Costco. Size extra large. I'll probably see if my dad wants this. It's just a really nice shirt, though. Feels nice. He likes that Viking stuff. Next, we have Banana Republic The Traveler pant or jeans. These are a 32-32 slim fit. I think I've sold Banana Republic men's jeans before. These look really nice. They're like a, oh, I'm washing off the camera, a really dark blue, almost black. Let's see. This looks really expensive, this tag. So I'll let you guys know if it's good. It's kind of like a sweater vest. It's called T.M. Lewin, German St. London Business Casual. It feels soft. Uh, somebody cut out the materials tag, so it just feels like cotton. We have a tie. This is J. Crew, handmade in USA. And there's no tag that I could other tag that I could tell. So it looks like somebody just cut it off. So I don't know if it's silk or polyester, but it's the red and blue striped tie. I haven't listed my other ties yet, but I will just probably list them all at the same time. We have some shoes. The trash can down here. These are Nautica. They're men's size 10. Since they're basically, yeah, they are new. They still have the tags here. It's like they were sold at Marshalls. But I'll just list them. These are eco, the eco shoe. Might do all right. We have Boss Hugo Boss. This is the Sharp Fit. And it is a 15 and a half by 34, 35. And there's a plaid button down shirt. No, it's a but button up shirt. It actually doesn't have the buttons to go down. It feels like it's new because it still has these little things in here to keep it the points sharp. It doesn't feel washed or anything. I'll list it. I don't usually list a lot of button downs, but button ups, whatever. That looks like I'm going to be because there's some in here. This is made in Italy. Paul Smith, the Bayard, or something like that. This is a red gingham plaid. This is a button up as well. I don't see, oh, the size up here. This is a 16 and a half by 42. These measurements mean nothing to me. As a, a woman, I, our shirts don't come in these sizes usually. This is the same brand. This is a six, or 15 by 38. So that Paul Smith again. If they're good, I'll list them. This one's like a really small check pattern. Gotta have a suit blazer. This is Rossini, Franco Rossini. It says Italy. It is 100% wool. Um, yeah. I don't know. Let me see if I have the size here. Maybe in the other pocket. Over here it says Super 120s. Fine Italian 
dry clean only. So I don't see a size on it unless it's over here. Oh, there it is, 38 regular. Which, like again, I don't know what that means. But it's a pin stripe, and the stripe is actually, it's kind of hard to tell in there, but it matches this on the inside, this like orange color. Would that be 100%? Well, I'll definitely list it. Another button down. This is a tall size, 17 and a half by 36, 37. And this is the brand Joseph Avowed. Another brand I've never sold. Looks like it was dry cleaned because it has the tag down here. And it desperately needs some kind of wrinkle release. Uh, this says you can machine wash it, so I don't have to dry clean it. All right, we got some pants. They say a journey begins with a single step. Oh my goodness, I've never found this brand. Um, it's Roan, which I've heard is really good. Size 30. It doesn't tell me. Uh, I've heard uh, it does have a style number in here, but. Oh, that's awesome. I've never, they felt really nice. Never sold this brand before, but I've heard good things. So we're going to try it out. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is Bonobos or Bonobos Golf. I got several things like this in my Helpsy box, but these are nice. Golf stuff's doing well right now. These are size 32 and they are 10 inch inseam. They look about ready to go, like they don't look like they need to be washed or anything. I did get a lot of button downs in this one. Isaac Misrahi, New York, slim fit shirt with like a very small, very, very small check. Got another plaid. This is J. Crew, size medium. Hopefully, none of these are missing buttons, but I'll check later. This is from spring 2013. Just a plaid button. Button down. These are Levi's Strauss or just Levi's. Like a khaki pant. These are 38, 32. So my closet is definitely gonna have some men's wear for sure. Got another button up shirt. This one just says made in Italy. Oh, it's that Paul Smith again. And this one's around the same size, 16 and a half, 42. So I wish they were the same size so I could lot them up, but hopefully they're a good, good brand. J. Crew Irish Linen by Baird McNutt. Okay, that's interesting since this does look like it has a name or something written in there. Maybe it was like that. Um, this is the same Baird McNutt thing that was on that Brooks Brothers one. But um, this is from 2009. It is a size medium, but I think it'll do good since it's 100% linen. Almost down to the bottom. Vineyard Vines, size medium. Like I said in my other, in the other box, I will do a better check. This just looks like a plain white polo doesn't even have a Vineyard Vines whale on it that I can tell. <clears throat> and it's a cotton blend. So that may not do great since it doesn't actually have the whale on it. Izod saltwater shorts size 38, 10 inch inseam. I actually listed a pair just like this if you saw them in my other box, but there are no tags. They have not had any interest. So I guess we'll have to see. This is interesting. This is Adidas size large. And it's like a, it feels so weird. It's a jacket. Um, let's zip it up so I can see a little better. And this is going to be something I'll probably need Google Lens for to help me out. All right, it says NBA. And East. It says Carter on it. Okay, these on the size. All Star 06. 01, 02, 2000, 2003, 5, 7. Then it says Nets on it, so the New York Nets. Or wait, Brooklyn Nets? Yeah, New York, right? Okay, this is really interesting. 
If you guys know anything, let me know. This says limited edition, 38 of 50. Okay, this might actually be really good. Or it could just be trash. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I doubt it's trash, but that's really cool. All right, C9 by Champion, size extra large, long sleeve, red shirt. Probably give that to my dad as well. He's getting a lot out of this box. Okay, NBA, size small. Oh, cool. This is a Celtic shirt. I'm not sure if they're still in the playoffs right now. I haven't kept up with it this year. But that might sell quick since it's just a black shirt and there. there's a lot of Celtics fans. Okay. GH Bass Classics. I think this is sold maybe at Sam's or TJ Maxx. Ethan. Oh, Ethan. That's my husband's name. He has... A couple of these as he's gotten as gifts, so I'm not really sure where they came from. Ooh, we got some Carhartt pants. These are the Relax Fit, size 30, 34. Oh, that's a nice surprise. They are new as tag. These are, like I said, the Relax Fit. Don't have like an original price, but that's easy money right there. We have, I don't know what this is, Sill of Quality. Just says golf. Green, very green pullover. Oh, well, let's see. The buttons say something. Black, brown. Okay, that's what the button says. Black, brown. Interesting. All right, we've got a couple more pieces in here. I think two left, or one after this one. So we got Under Armour. This is a bright color. Size XL. Loose fit. It looks to be in good shape, but it needs to be washed or something. It does have, like, hair all over it from either a dog or a person. I don't know. All right, last thing. Okay, this, I don't, all right. So this is a Tupac shirt. And there's all kinds of stuff. It has a V on the back. I am not up with the hip crowd <laughs> on a 90s wrap, but this is a size large. I'm pretty sure it has this tag, but um, that's got to be a modern shirt. So, I don't know. People still love Tupac, so. All right. Based on this unboxing, I'll go ahead and put some spoilers, but actually there probably won't be spoilers because you guys have already watched the first half. There was, there's quite a few things I need to wash. Um, the Madewell jeans have a hole in the crotch um, from the Helpsy box. It costs more. So I think I'm going to stick with Thread Up for my men's items. I know it's a gamble, but I think that Thread Up is the better bang for my buck. I was happy with that box until I started photographing stuff last night and I was seeing flaws and that wasn't great. But I mean, I don't think it's a bad box. It, was, it wasn't horrible, but their condition sometimes is really hit or miss. Hey guys, um, today is May the 16th. I recorded those videos starting May 2nd, so it's been about two weeks. And I just wanted to pop on and um, tell you guys what's sold real quick. So from the Helpsy box, I've had five items sale. I haven't listed everything yet, but I have listed some items. So um, the, the first thing to sell was the Brooks Brothers. I'll pop some screenshots up. The Brooks Brothers Baird McNutt Linen thing. It sold on Poshmark. I got an offer for $33. That sold really fast. It may have sold for more, but it was missing a button and I didn't want to mess with that. So sold that. The next thing to sell was a pair of the Levi's jeans. These had some wear between the legs and they were just not in great condition. So they sold for $14 with discounted shipping, which was a Posh VA offer. Then the Dickies pants, I think they sold the same day. Um, they had quite a bit of wear and they had some, uh, like paint marks and stuff. So someone sent me a $10 offer and I took it on Poshmark. All those sold on Poshmark. Actually, all these sold on Poshmark except one. The, um, the gray shorts I wasn't short about, uh, sure about. Shout out my friend Taylor. She knew right away they were the brand 10,000, which might be a Bolo brand. I don't know. They sold in about one day. These shorts are pretty expensive and the, the tag is actually down in the the leg part, so they're kind of hard to find. Um, anyway, these actually had quite a bit of wear at the waist, so someone sent me a $25 offer on eBay and I accepted that. 
And the last thing to sell sold yesterday. It was the Madewell shirt for men and it sold for an offer. Oh no, full, my fullest price of $35. So that's what sold there. That was five items. And I'm not going to break down the numbers completely. I did. I'll go ahead and tell you. Um, as I said, the Madewell jeans had a hole in the crotch. I haven't donated those or thrown, well, I won't donate them, but I haven't thrown them away because Madewell does have a recycling program. So I think I'm going to do that and try to get like a voucher for $20 off jeans or something. Um, I had to donate, I donated the two random t-shirts. Um, there were some other things that I just, I wasn't going to list. So we'll see what else sells. I have listed several other things. So let me type in here, um, my SKU so I can see what I've sold here from the Thread Up Men's box. I have sold one, two, three, four, five, six items from that box and they're still moving. The first thing that sold was the Royal Robin shorts. I got an offer right away on eBay for $38 and I accepted that. So that was great. And then the Bonobos golf shorts, those I got an offer on Poshmark for $25. And then um, this one is the most exciting sale so far. This is that Adidas jacket. I got, um, I could not find any comps on this. And the only other one I could find even similar was listed for $500 on eBay, but it was a different player and it was just different. And this, um, I was talking to my dad about it because he is a NBA fan. So, um, I listed this at $299 because Vince Carter was a lesser known player. Um, I got some likes on Poshmark and then I listed on eBay and right away I got a hundred dollar offer which I countered to $199. We went back and forth and finally I accepted $130 for this. So I was pretty excited about that. I may have undersold it. I don't know because there weren't any comps, but I'm happy with that price. If that person flips it, that's great for them. I'm happy with what I got. That paid for my whole thread up box. And then um, let's see, the Carhartt pants sold. I got an offer for $30 on Poshmark, which I accepted. Then this is kind of a bolo, is the Banana Republic jeans, specifically the Traveler line. Those seem to be really popular. Um, I got an offer, I lifted, listed them at $50 and pretty much within a couple of days got an offer of $35, so accepted that. And then lastly for that box was the J. Crew linen shirt. I got an offer for $18, I think that was on eBay, yes on eBay. And I accepted that. So there you go. Um, you guys let me know what you thought. And I definitely am going to be ordering more Thread Up Men boxes. That I The quality or condition is so much better. Even if I might get a dud, it's not like with Helpsy. I'm getting that much better stuff. It's not a guarantee. And I've had a recent experience with them that has really made me take pause. I'm not going to, you know, bash them or anything like that. Because a lot of people do have success. I've had success with them. I actually just ordered another... Um, it was a used box, secondhand box. I'm having some issues with them with, but with their new tag items, I just ordered a second Everlane Intimates box, which is mostly um, bralettes, bodysuits. They did have some underwear in there. Um, new, of course. This is all new or new without tags. I did randomly get a swimsuit in my first box, a one piece, and that just sold yesterday for $41. Um, if you guys would be interested in seeing what I get in that Everlane box, let me know down in the comments. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I guess we could do one of those secret emoji things. So if you make it all the way to the bottom, leave me an emoji. Um, just leave me your favorite emoji. The one, like, on your most recent emojis, leave me the top one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!